Hello dear Nutanix friends and welcome back. Today I will show you with files and files analytics how we can protect you from a ransomware attack. So let's go straight to the solution. Well, ransomware. Everyone knows it. Everyone is afraid of it. So how can you protect your environment or your services or your files from ransomware? Well, first of all, you need a, a proper backup solution where it definitely the last line of, of, of safety uh, with, a, with a read only backup environment. Okay. But how can you prevent actually ransomware on an active system? The only way is to block specific files or file endings. So let's have a look how Nutanix have done that. So first of all, we need to have a file server. On the file server, there's a share. And when the file server is created, you can actually create for free an additional service called File Analytics. That's an additional VM that actually monitors all the file system traffic and can now integrate as well ransomware stuff. So you click on file analytics. There you just see the normal file analytics stuff, dashboards, just uh, the normal stuff on file analytics. So how can you now enable ransomware? Well, that's quite easy. You go to the hamburger symbol and click ransomware. First time you have to enable it and do some settings. The settings are as follow. You have to prevent ransomware attack stuff. You get a, a signature blocked files. So we have 249 at the moment. There are lists in the internet there where you can check which files are new. So you have to do an accuracy and, and, and to really add files that may be new and not in that list. How are you going to do that? Well, it's quite easy. You just say, for example, txt. For example, that's just an example. And it says, oh, well, I already added it. So I have already added txt. If it is a new one, uh, oh, this is not added, so add to the block list. That's how easy it is. Okay. And then you can add your email to, to the um, uh, recipients where you get uh, reported if there is a ransomware attack. So that's how easy you have to do. Uh, you, you set up actually ransomware on file analytics. As well, you can download the CSV file with the signatures that actually does look like the following. You see all the file endings there. That will be blocked. Huh? Good. Now, you see there are uh, already a lot ongoing. There are uh, already a lot of files that you see here that are blocked, the tests that I already done. We will do it right now with my file server. Okay. Now let's see how we do that. As I said on the share, it's, it's uh, the, the ransomware uh, part is already enabled and should be already working. I have a script, I have a share, there's nothing in there. In the first script, you see it uh, it's creates a file, text D. Uh, then it moves that file, text D, to CHG. So it changed the file endings. As these are not blocked in the blocking list, it should work without any issue. Done. Files are, you see, txt changed to chg. Okay, so that worked perfectly, so you can normally work. Now, 
If there is a ransomware attack in case of files that are actually in that directory that are changed to a file ending that is blocked, like here txt, I should get a result, permission denied. I can write so that the file txt is already in there. And then if the change will happen, txt, txt, T won't be changed. So let's run this script and you get permission denied. And when you go to the directory, there is a directory with only text T files. And I can show you as well, when I want to change that to txt, it gives me permission denied. Okay, permission denied, I can't change it. So I'm safe. And ransomware has no chance. That's only when a file is already on there. But the last step is I want to prevent to write any specific file that is called this one to my directory. So you see, I already write it straight away with ending txt. So there shouldn't be anything happening. Always permission denied. I can't I see there is no file, so it works perfectly. So that's really how easy it is to set up ransomware protection for your Nutanix file files environment. Whoa! Isn't it cool? Stunning what this tool can do. Implementing that easy and you are safe and protected. So see you soon in the next tutorial. Bye.